All right, so I know everybody and their brother has some sort of a charcoal comparison video. Um, I'm going to do one as well, not just to add to the confusion, but I think it's a little bit different because I've never seen two of these done in a comparison at all before. We've got um, Lazari Mesquite Charcoal. It's a lump. It's my go-to when I can get it. It's the easiest thing I got. And uh, then something that everybody knows, just as a comparison sake, the Royal Oak, pick it up Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you want. And then Sonora Charcoal, which is something that's relatively new to me in the last couple of years. Um, it can be had at like local grocery stores and some food supply stores. Um, this one over here, like I say, when I can get it, it's kind of, uh, it's, my, it's my preference, but it's uh, food service industry stuff. So you can have it like from a food service supply place. Uh, some larger like uh, club warehouses might have it and then you could also have it delivered from Cisco which is what I'm fortunate enough to have here from work or a food supply company such as that um, we're gonna use all brand new uh, small Weber chimneys to do the test gonna light it with the little Weber cubes just so that everything's as similar as possible and we're gonna put the same amount of weight in each chimney of the charcoal um, so first off let's open them up uh, dump them out and see what we get. One thing I forgot before we go dumping this stuff out is uh, the weight and price and the type that these are. Um, the Lazari is 1750 in food service delivery um, for 40 pound bag of charcoal. The Royal Oak is, you know, they're called Royal Oak, but they do specify themselves as 100% all natural hardwood charcoal. Um, what exactly it is, I'm not sure if it's all oak or not, but it is a 15.44 pound bag for $13.25 at Home Depot or Lowe's. At least that's the price in my area. Um, the Sonora is six to seven dollars at local um, grocery stores and food supply stores, and it is a 15 pound bag. All right, so we're gonna dump this out and kind of see what the contents looks like. You know, it's lump, it's all different, and sometimes depending on how the bags get transported, it changes things, but let's just see what this looks like. So that's 40 pounds a lump right there. A Lot of uh, good size, normal, chimney size chunks that I'd want to use. This, I still use a lot of this without breaking it up in the, um, in the kettle, for instance. This is some bigger stuff, but it does break apart fairly easily. Um, might use this to get the offset started or something like that, but that is one of the reasons I like this charcoal so much, is I do get a variance besides the pound per price. Um, I really do like having a little bit to pick and choose from, but you can break stuff up. Um, Make it smaller, easy to use if you want. Of course, there is the gravel, the little stuff. It's not a ton, as you can see. It's all pretty usable. I have had a bag of this where it was a 40 pound bag and it was exactly five pieces. So that was a bit of a surprise, but it's happened to me once over eight years. So uh, let's go ahead and try the Royal Oak. All right, Oak so here we go with the Royal Oak. All right, so there's the 15.44 pounds of Royal Oak. Um, it is definitely lighter, uh, the charcoal itself. Mesquite is a heavy wood even when charcoaled. Um, about the same, you got a lot of nice, easy to use sizes for the chimney for putting in the kettle or I burn it in my ugly drum. Uh, even burn the small stuff in there, just the way my basket's set up. Of course, you do have some of the gravel, the little stuff, but all in all, it's pretty nice. There's no overly large pieces in this at all. Um, all pretty usable without having to do really any work to it at all. All right, now for the Sonora. Let's dump this out, see what we get. Well, it's definitely the lowest volume and uh, there is quite a bit of random in here. Uh, larger stuff, kind of the most people's ideal stuff, and then, of course, the small little gravelly stuff as well. Uh, similar weight to the Royal Oak, 
but a lot less volume so each one of these pieces is definitely going to be heavier whether that means it's not as well charcoaled or not or just the density of the mesquite versus the royal oak not 100 percent sure but um i don't know i really like the lazari i buy royal oak because it's super easy to get super common everywhere and this is just easy when i'm at the grocery store and don't want to make another stop i do like this um i love the price of the lazari uh you know for the volume that i get um but part of this is just to tell me what i'm actually getting my best bang for my buck out of so we're going to test it all with the same weight of charcoal let it burn down see the temps and see how long they last and kind of what it looks like and uh just an experiment for me and you guys are along for the ride all right so i'm gonna start with the lazari filling one of these chimneys i'm gonna shoot for a pound per chimney um it's zeroed out right now i'm gonna try to get similar sizes from each batch of charcoal see if we can get a pound in here lump charcoal is not super heavy so see what we can get That's 1.1 pounds right there, exactly. All right, now for the Royal Oak, scale zeroed. Again, shooting for a pound. Trying to use similar size pieces. One point one again. All right, so scale zeroed again. This time we're onto the Sonora. Again, looking for similar size pieces to the other batches. This is definitely heavier. Eleven point three pound or eleven point three ounces. Thirteen point five ounces. Fourteen point two. Fifteen one. One point four. One point two. So right where the other one was fluctuating at one point three. Let's take a little bit out of there. There's your one point two. All right, so we've got the Lazari here kind of placed in, but not super carefully, and it shows up about the same size as uh, the Royal Oak. I did have to place the Royal Oak in a little bit more intentionally to get it to fit because it is lighter. There's more in there, a little bit more airspace, so yeah, I know that may skew the results a little bit, but that's what I had to do to get it to fit. Now this one is the Sonora, also a mesquite, just like the Lazari and it is substantially less full than the other two. Same weight, not as much volume. If anything, it's an ounce heavier, but that's kind of where we're at. So we will uh, get these things lit, and as they burn down, we'll check some temps and then run some time and see how long they last. All right, so we're gonna get these things lit and uh, all with one of those Weber starter cubes each, uh, and it's the same order. Um, I'm facing the same order. The camera is a little bit different, but this is still, from my perspective, left to right. It's going to be uh, Lazari, Royal Oak, and the Sonora in that order. This one's ready to go. Plenty of flame. Let's set that on. And that one. Now we'll start a timer and see how long each one lasts and how hot they get. All right, it's been seven and a half minutes. Um, let's check some temps. I'll take a quick look first. That is the Lazari there. A lot of heat coming through, a little white on top. Some more white, a lot of heat on the Sonora and the Royal Oak up front. 
no white on top yet, but you can see plenty of glow and heat coming out of it there. But let's take some ch temps and see what they look like. Starting with the Lazari. Started out mid 12s. Now we're up to right around 14, close to 14. That's 12, 13, 11. We'll call it 12s. Let's check the Sonora. From the top, we're getting mid 11s. And the Royal Oak, from the top, we're getting nines right around nine that looks hotter but we're gonna check the sides too that's just from the top I want to get a couple different measurements from the side on the Lazari we're looking at 280s sides on the Sonora Round two sides on the Royal Oak. Sorry. A eh. little bit of fluctuation, but close to two. A little there's some over twos. So around two. They're all pretty much the same on that front right now from the side. Uh, Royal Oak's taking a little bit longer to get lit, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Sonora, not quite as much, but again, not as much fuel. Lazari is just kind of pumping along. So uh, we'll take a little break and come back in a few and see how they're doing. All right, we're about 17 minutes in, and uh, the flames on the Royal Oak have really started to pick up as it's kind of burning through the top, and the other two have settled down a bit, if you can see that. But uh, we're going to keep going until they burn out and kind of see what results we get. All right, we are 22 minutes in at this point. Uh, let's take some temps again. From the top. From 13s, 12s, 10s, so kind of the same. A little bit less, maybe, but we're in the 11s, we'll say. That was for the Lazari. Chimney is starting to look a little bit empty on this Sonora, but temps are still reasonable um, for the most part, but in 10 something. Eh, maybe not, but it is starting to get a little bit empty in there. And then this Royal Oak looks really screaming hot right now. Let's see what it is. in the 13th so we were getting that earlier from Lazari no oh, high getting higher definitely in some intense heat took longer to get there but got plenty hot for sure on the side 280s 300s yeah it's hot And if you can see that, kind of doing the same thing. Sonora is definitely a little bit cooler than the other two right now. Going to give them all just a little shake, see how they're doing. Shake it down a bit. Definitely see through that one. And shook down as well. It is definitely still the most full of the three, and that's the Royal Oak. All right, we're about 50, five zero minutes in on this. Uh, I'm just going to check some temps. There's not a lot left in any of these, really. But let's see how they're doing. Start here with the Royal Oak. Nines. Nine seventy, nine sixty. Lazari. 960, 970, about the same. Sonora, 1090, 1030, in the tens. 
So, you know, they're all pretty much even, really, and they all have just a little bit left in there. So, so far, as far as heat and uh, you know, longevity of fuel go, they're all pretty stinking close. Well, we're just about down to it here in an hour. Um, really not much left in any one of these. I don't know that we'll let it burn down and shoot well, every piece is gone. But it was definitely a fun little experiment. Um, the Sonora still has the most left. Um, but, I mean, it's all pretty much the same thing. Wazari has the least amount of volume. and Royal Oak's kind of there in the middle. Sorry, I tried to box some, see if you guys get a better look at that. But uh, they're all still putting out good heat. I mean, you can't hold your hand there for very long. And uh, Sonora's just a little bit hotter. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. So as far as, um, you know, the heat they put out and how long they last, they're all pretty equal. Um, don't know if you can see that down there. But as far as ash goes, the mesquite of both the Sonora and Lazari are pretty much the same. Have the most ash. Royal Oak has the least amount of ash left. So if that's important to you as far as what you're cooking in, then I guess that would matter. But as far as heat and uh, longevity of the fuel, um, you're just not going to see that much of a difference between them. As far as I can tell, I mean, this is not a controlled environment scientific experiment, but I've always kind of been curious because these are the three I burn all the time and just kind of wanted to see how they turn out. All right, so uh, it's all done. Everything's burned out. Lasted about an hour for all of the chimneys. And another seven minutes for the Sonora, but pretty marginal. Wasn't that much left. So as far as what we've got here, we've got that. It would be 39 pounds of the Lazari Mesquite left. That's what that looks like. There'd be 14.44 pounds of Royal Oak left. That's what that looks like. And uh, there's the Sonora, which would be uh, 14 pounds of that. And my stuff's blowing all over the place here. Wind's starting to pick up this afternoon a little bit. Well, we're going to try to finish this out anyway. So you can see there's a big difference in the amount of fuel that's still left on the paper here. Um, dollar for dollar, I'd have to say that... Uh, Lazari, probably why it's always been my favorite, besides having some difference in sizes and not a lot of trash in there, is that uh, you get a ton of fuel for the price. Less than $18 for all that, for 40 pounds of mesquite lump. And as far as performance goes, it keeps up with the Royal Oak and the Sonora. Um, i just never seen anybody review Lazari or Sonora before. And yeah, it's got a lot of varying sizes, not a lot of small stuff, but some big stuff in there. But, you know, I can use that getting the stick burner starter. Sometimes I hit it with a hatchet and just, you know, the blunt side or a hammer or a brick, knock them together, use it in the UDS or in the Weber, doesn't matter. Royal Oak, I buy a lot because I'm at Home Depot and it's easy to grab, it's consistent. Um, definitely the most consistent sizing in the pieces. Um, but pound for pound, definitely the most expensive without getting... Um, a return on that but it is uh, hands down uh, the easiest to find and uh, yeah the Sonora not as much in there it's heavier per piece but with a one pound in a chimney it burned just as long and as hot as the other ones I mean there's a little bit of variance in all this but generally speaking they all stayed pretty much the same temp and burned for the same length of time so when I can get it I, the truck's coming, or I'm at a supply place, and I can get the Lazari. I'm going to stick with it. Royal Oak, I'm still going to keep buying because it's consistent. I can dump it in the drum, and, you know, it's at Home Depot every time I'm there. And if I just feel at the grocery store and feel like uh, picking something up easy, it's a no-brainer for the Sonora as well. But, you know, dollar for dollar, you definitely get the best bang for your buck over with Lazari and pay a little bit more for the RO. But it's a great product, and uh, the Sonora... You know, it's kind of in between the two, and uh, definitely be buying all three continuously moving forward. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh,
comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you don't like, love it or hate it, doesn't matter. Um, I really wanted to figure this out for myself, and uh, thank you for uh, joining me on this little experiment.